Hello everyone, this is me Sapya here and I'm back with the remaining month of September reads start from the 22nd through the 30th of uh, September 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius, let's see what is coming for you for the remaining month time. I will be adding oracle cards and messages from your person in this reading. We will also be adding some color cards as well in this read. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So Aquarius, let's see how the remaining month of September is going to be for all of you out there. Let's begin. Seven of Wands and Eight of Swords. I feel like, you know, um, you really feel you are prepared for something in your life, but then you don't see your way out of things. Like, you know, um, for instance, you feel like you're ready to go for a new journey. You're ready to start your new business. You're ready to, uh, you know, pursue your love life. But then I do see you having some blocks coming your way. I feel like for majority of you, those blocks are gonna be your self-imposed blocks. So try to understand that. For majority of you, you would feel like, you know, you cannot do this, you cannot have this, you will not be able to get through this time. It's, it's all about your own mental talk that you're gonna be having. So try avoiding having any negative self-talk during this time because you are definitely prepared as you are being, you know, um, guided towards a certain direction don't feel that you're blocked in any way don't feel that you are you know you are uh, you you are going to stumble upon a block in any further way try to take this initiative where you are feeling yes you are ready to go for it and take it with the with the feeling with the with the with the with the inner knowing that divine has your back when you have that as your thought process you will be able to you know um get through these uh, little tiny blocks that you might be having coming up for you in, in regards to that particular direction of your life. Try not to let this uh, thought process that maybe I cannot do that, maybe, you know, it is not going to be easy. Just just let go of all those negative thoughts because I feel like, you know, for majority of you, you are prepared. You are ready to take this new journey for yourself. Um, but yes, you're you're you are going to have those mental conversations, which is going to make you feel like, oh my God, maybe I will be having a hard time. Don't let that, you know, seep in your mind in any way. Just try to get rid of any negative self-talk that you that you are having or that you might be having in the, you know, um, in the first half of the remaining month, like from twenty to uh, twenty uh twenty uh, second through the twenty uh, fifth of uh, September. Just avoid having any negative self-talk because it's just gonna. Um, you know, or lower your motivation to move ahead with your certain decisions. So just try to be like, you know, um, uh, just try to be positive and excited about, you know, whatever it is that you're, you know, um, jumping on to right now to start a new chapter of your life. Just go ahead with the, with the, with that belief that divine has your back. Let's see more cards here. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Um, for fonts. I feel like, you know, this feeling, this emotion that you're going to be having, oh my God, it's not going to be worked out. It's going to be more momentarily just just get yourself on this like you know uh fast moving uh energy where you're heading towards the direction of your dreams and you're heading towards whatever it is that you wanted to do you are feeling excited about it but then there will be a day or two where you are going to be having some negative thoughts try to avoid and you know try to negate any thought that you would have and i feel like you know you are heading in the right direction to get your dreams fulfilled um you will be having a lot of uh, excitement and working towards your goals as well so i really see it's going to be a good week for majority of you but yes there will be a little bit of uh, bumps in the road just just know that you have to be strong to deal with them i mean that if we don't have the tower for some of you i feel like you know um what I do see here, I, I really see a block coming your way in the very beginning of the week time, which might make you feel confused. But stay focused, stay positive, and you will be able to surmount that. Now, I feel like, you know, um, for majority of you, you might feel like, you know, a block is there for you uh, initially in the very beginning of the week time. But it is not going to be what you are thinking of it to be. Maybe you're going to be like, you know, maybe it's something that like, you know, um, 
you you maybe for let me put it this way if you are you know starting a business maybe you need investor you call one person and they said no i'm not interested then don't start thinking negative oh my god how am I, how am i going to do that just just stay positive and you will have many better opportunities coming your way so again i feel like you know just don't get so upset with one one person or one company or one firm saying no to you uh just know that abundance awaits you so just just go with that mindset when it comes to your love life, I feel like, you know, maybe for some of you, you will feel confused because maybe you are not getting the approval of your marriage towards a specific or with a specific someone. Just know that abundance awaits you. So you will find a way other than this to get through what you want. So just, just know that everything is going to be okay. If you start believing that, you will be seeing things working out for you. So try to keep this week positive. Try to keep yourself positive during this week time to get the abundance that you seek in your life. Let's see some calls to uh, particularly see uh, what's coming in for you and your love life let's see two cards to see what is happening for you in your love life in particular we have a few cards here let me pick them up wow so we have okay so we have four of cups ace of wands nine of pentacles five of pentacles four of pentacles and a new beginning um Now, for those of you who are willing to move on from a toxic relationship or being single, I feel like you, know, you will be getting an opportunity to move ahead with that particular new person who is entering in your life. Now, if that happens, don't hold yourself back thinking that, oh, I cannot move on. I'm still holding on, you know, uh, to the past person, this and that. Just know that it's, it's not something that you want. It's something that you're being fearful of like fearful of being you know be, being fearful of moving on being fearful of like you know what if it doesn't work out so don't let yourself you know stay stuck in that situation for 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 nothing especially if you are dealing with a toxic relationship or if you are dealing with the you know um being single right now just get onto this new journey for yourself don't hold yourself back thinking negative that maybe it's not gonna end up you know leading towards marriage or something like that again just know that something beautiful awaits you. So just go ahead with that. Even if it's a past person approaching, you don't start thinking negative about them. Don't start thinking like maybe they want this only for you, from, from you. And maybe they're going to leave you again. So you are holding yourself back because of the past experience that you've had with them. Just go into it with a positive mindset and you shall be uh, receiving a lot of goodness in this uh, particular direction. I feel like you know, abundance awaits you, that's for sure. Now, how you approach the situation is going to determine how much abundance do you get in your life let's see some color cards let's see what colors could be significant or lucky for you for this uh week time uh for this remaining month time actually it's uh, less than a, uh, more than a one, one week time but yeah let's see the colors what colors could be lucky or significant for you for the remaining month of september time chocolate nourish your body and so number 13 chocolate color is going to be lucky for you 13 or uh 13 as a number or as a date could be significant for you for your connection as well but yes it's time for you to nourish your body and so try not to get overwhelmed with the with the everything like you know just try to relax yourself and try to nourish your ideas your body your soul body of your thoughts and ideas as well i feel like it's very important for you to do take care of that uh during this uh remaining month time uh let's see some messages coming from your person here let's see what do they have to say to you whoever it is that is uh, that you're dealing with let's see their messages for you <clears throat> i relive our last time together in my mind so somebody is really thinking about you heavily and dominantly they relive the moments that you've shared together um and i feel like you know it's something uh which signifies that they do miss you they do uh you know miss the good memories that you guys made together um you are special for me but i will never speak my heart out so somebody is kind of holding themselves back from expressing uh but they do love you they do have feelings for you so um let's see uh some oracle cards now let's see what the divine has to add to the read so, law of attraction is working well for you, so make sure that you are thinking in alignment with what uh, what you desire. So, 
it's always working for everyone out there just that you know you have to be careful of what you're thinking because the good thoughts are going to bring you good uh, good reality the bad thoughts are going to make you feel confused and um make you feel stuck in your life let them know your worth and value so if you are moving on to a new connection or a new person just just move ahead don't stay stuck in a situation where you are feeling toxicity of the person or the connection let them feel your worth as you leave and as you leave them and move forward to a new person or a new energy evil energy is blocking you for some of you you have to be careful with the evil energy that could be blocking you as well so try to protect yourself from evil energies evil thoughts as well so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, remaining month of uh, um, September time if it was of help uh, do like share and subscribe and yeah till I do the next sheet for you guys take care bye